Hey guys, Ibo Gaming here. Now, I've got a series coming out, and this is the first video in the series of many. It is how to be a better teammate. It's going to make show you guys how to improve your communications in this one, um, and then the next one and the next one will explain that when we get to it. But housekeeping rule in the description below, Discord if you guys want to learn. There's, we've got Sherpas um, in our Discord community. There's also heaps of people that are playing. Um, I think there's a thousand current active members. Uh, and at the moment, I'm looking, the channel is about 35 people active in the game, in lobbies, playing right now. And all you need to do is hit that, uh, hit the description, hit the link, come say hello. Um, also, Dean Poe Gaming and One Run are also in the community, um, and we are building it. So, guys, let's go into communication in a team and how to communicate properly to all of your players in the game and all in your team. So, number one thing I have noticed that people struggle with is call outs also so the call outs when i say call outs it's i'm hearing over there guys he's there uh and then everyone's where where's there where are you oh where's that where's this where oh, where are you what's that how to do that like you get confused next minute you're wiped your whole team's dead because of that one person who did the wrong call out not knowing how to communicate where the enemy was if he had a call out like guys he is at um, at the stables I hear footsteps in the stables for example up this random kill I get I know I, I saw him I know exactly where it is. I've told them they're coming up behind you. Boom. They, I told them exactly where he was. I, I would have called that in front of uh, coming from cross bridge, a broken bridge, coming up the ramp or up that hill thing. He's behind you. And then I would say their name, Mr. G or Dean Poe. He's behind you, coming up from broken bridge. Um, then they will go. Okay, I know exactly where I'm looking. Turn around, bang. But in that clip, I did the work. Popped him. Uh, <laughs> but guys, communication is key. Next thing, like for example, if I'm watching this angle, I tell them I am watching this angle. I'm watching the stairs. You guys are good. Someone is up there. I've got it. I've covered an angle. This angle. So you're. So like for example, I'm telling them. Yep, I've just hit him. You saw a blood splatter, so I've hit him. He's hurt. So guys, you tell your team, guys, I've, he just got off the the stairs in the back of hotel. He might be in the red building or close to welcome sign or around the hole. That's where I saw. I can't have visuals where he went because he has smoked it. If I say something along those lines, my team around me also know what I just saw. It was very clear and direct and precise. Now, when you are talking to your team, it needs to be like this. Guys, he is at red, front of red, back of red. Um, like, for example, this house is called the red house. That's what, that's one of the call outs. Um, the, the, hole in front of red that's you can call that the hole in front of red hole to car um you know what i mean it matters where you, you know what kind of terms but if you were to say anything like that i would know exactly what you were meaning okay now guys it is important to be very clear um don't yell don't scream don't panic just clear communications if I'm walking around and trying to find someone or like using your headphones in game to like listen for sounds and someone says comms, 
means everyone shut up. Like, all VC stop, and if you're walking close, stop. Or start to creep walk. Okay, Co clear comms, or guys, comms means it is time to everyone to be quiet because we're listening. We we hear we heard someone we heard someone for example we heard someone co coming into hotel so clear comms. Let's listen to exactly what is he coming the ramp or is he coming front extra front in the ramp or the front entrance. So I've got visuals that he's coming somewhere there. I'm absolutely missing every shot because I actually don't know where he is. We all don't know where he is. <laughs> <coughs> We all actually don't know where he is at this stage. But we're all trying to find him. We're all talking together. I will... Alright, guys. So, what I know for a fact is when you get shot, for example, I just got shot. The shot I know came from in front of me because of the noise, the direction, and where I got hit. Okay? So now I go and tell my team, he is in front of motel somewhere. I don't know exactly, but the shot come from front of motel. So everyone now, like Jason and Mr. G are able to know that the shots are coming from the front of the hotel, okay? So I tell them, I'm meeting up. Once I've met it up, we're gonna, I'm going to go back out and have a look, okay? So I'm going to met up. I'm going to go for I'm going to try to bait it. I told them, I think I'm going to try to bait the shots, and I'm going to try to have a look. <coughs> See, I have a shot from front of motel again. He's got a, a sniper or, or a semi-auto. He's got a scoped weapon. So I tell them they've got a scoped um, scoped gun. Um, let's just be careful. I've changed it to three burst. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, we found him. And then I say, yep, kill confirmed. I've got him. He was at the front of hotel at the sandbags on top of radio tower. At the front of hotel. Um, everyone who plays farm will know that call out. Now, guys, it's so important that you, everyone has good communication. Um, this is vital for good raids, survival raids, surviving raids, sorry, and also making a large amount of money. The ways that you, you guys will improve your callouts and communications is playing with people that Ah, like for example, I play with Dean po, I play with Jason, I play with One Run, I play with Salad, I play with a large amount of people, right, in the community. And we all are playing quite regularly together, so at the start, we, we didn't have that, like, I guess, the chemistry. But once you build that chemistry, guys, it is impossible. It's like it's so good because you know like for example when I play with the boys if I say a call out or they say a call out I don't have to second guess what they're saying I don't have to if they say they're watching an angle I don't have to second guess it because I have found in the past people say oh yeah I'm watching this angle and they're not really watching it or they're watching it in the wrong way um, I'm going to be showing angles in another video but the call out of saying, hey, I've got this angle, gives me the confirmation to focus on what I've got to do. I might be pushing, I might be holding a, a, a body, I might be, you know, opening a room, I might be doing whatever. But if one of the boys or one of my teammates say, that I regular play with, say, hey, I've got you, um, he's there. Hey, he, I just got shot from here. Hey, I'm watching you. Uh, hey, loot, I'll cover you. These things give me indications that I can trust in the communication of my team. If you can trust the communication of your team, guys, you will have a higher success when going into the dark zone. But guys, let me know what you guys think about the communications. Remember, clear comms, direct, clear, and precise these are key i don't want to hear he's over there oh right there oh he's somewhere there at a hole i don't want to hear these bad communication calls anymore okay now 
Also, lastly, before I end this video, the I've noticed that a lot of people use the coordinates at the top of the screen to actually, you know, mark where players are. Yes, this is one way of doing it, but this is only good in the sense that everyone is in one direct line looking all the same way and all in the same vicinity. Sometimes, like, when I play fours, two go this way, two go that way, and the two go this way don't know the direct, like, you say 240, 240 for them is that, like, over here somewhere, and then this other team here is 240s the other way, you know, like, it's just confusing. Um, if you were to use the top, I would use markers um, on the map. And only use it when you guys are all in the same vicinity, pushing, or retreating, or holding a position, and or an angle where everyone is looking the same way. That's my opinion. Um, guys, if I missed anything, drop it in the comments how to be, how to have that good communication with your team. Um, but yeah, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, and Hippo Gaming out. See you in the next one.